matters to this one. I am Tatio.com, and I'm talking with C. Tim Williams from Always Giving Back in Memphis about Blessing Bags. Tim, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Can you tell me what Blessing Bags are, Tim? Well, Blessing Bags is a name that I gave to the bags that we put together for some elderly residents that live in assisted living uh, towers here in the Memphis area. And not only uh, do elderly people live in those towers, it's also individuals with, with disabilities that require assisted living. And the reason why I call them blessing bags is because the fact herein lies that they have to make a decision on whether they want to eat well or to buy personal items or toiletry items because they have such fixed incomes. And that's why I call them blessing bags. Again, uh, 233 residents combined, which would be the aggregate of both towers. And again, it is a Herculean uh, attempt, but with the help of Sam's, with the help of Costco, and with the help of Family Dollar and a Fred's Dollar, I think that I will be able to do it. And we are in negotiations and talking right now, and they seem very um, adamant, and they seem very welcoming to um, my request. Yeah, I used to think that they'd love to have the opportunity for the corporate sponsor and, and sponsorship and to be involved in the community. It's nice to see you giving them a way to give back to the community. Um, so if I, what do you need from me if I'm just uh, hearing about this? What do you need me to do? Well, basically... Since it is blessing bags, as it is realized, you know, the bags don't come with anything like that. Now, last year, which was really a blessing, Kroger had these bags that they used for shopping bags, and they were very beautiful, and they were on sale for like 60 cents a bag, and they were very durable and big enough to put all of the things in there that, you know, people like you and I take for granted, you know, toothpaste, toothbrushes, hair brushes, Gloves for your hands when it's cold, toilet paper, things of that nature in sort. It gets cold in Memphis, I know that, during the winter. Indeed it when does. When do you give out the blessing bag? Again, we always try to do it two weeks be be before Christmas. And again, we try to give them enough of those type of things that will at least last them at least six to eight months. Alright, so this is a big shopping bag worth of stuff. That's correct. And also the bag that they have, again, is uh, a bag that should they be able to, you know, to go out and, and go to uh, one of the Kroger's or one of the grocery stores around here that they also can just use over and over again is that. How many people help you do this project, Tim? Well, last year it was just only myself, my daughter, a friend of mine named Russell, and my grandson, Skyler. So it wasn't it was about three or four of us. Why do you do this Christmas time? Again... People have commercialized Christmas so much until the spirit of giving has taken a backseat. So just to bring it back to the forefront. What do you get out of doing this project? Well, intri intrinsically, I, I'm, I feel very good and I know that it's not about me, but it's about glorifying, you know, our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ and showing the spirit of them both through the actions that we do. Anything else you like? Again, the, the Blessing Bag Projects, you will be surprised to just how touched the people are to receive those things and how happy they are that somebody is really thinking about them. Just the hugs and, and handshakes and things like that that we receive was priceless.